everybody welcome back to another ski fight theory video i don't have a jacket on this time but that is because it is really hot out here over here in texas and you do not want to be wearing a jacket right now even if it is for the look of your content so right here we actually are talking about the solar eclipse that's happening tomorrow as of recording this video we're going to be getting into a few topics that you might need to know and might want to know and, you know, necessary things so you don't get misinformation and you know exactly what to do at a speedy time. Now, let's get into it. So the first topic you might, you might be wondering why is why you can't exactly stare into the soul of the eclipse while it's happening and why you need these special glasses or yeah, special glasses. Why can't you just use your uh, good old Oyos over here, Ojos over here, instead of, instead of using the glasses? And that is because the looking at the sun while it is radiating, while it's doing that, is the same, has the same effect as staring into the, the sun normally. So if you do that, you get retina damage, which can normally happen. It's mostly noticeable about like four to six hours afterwards, but you still, you, you don't want to have permanent I like eye damage. It would really suck if you like you seen this, but everything's great, or you see everything perfectly all around it's like amazing and stuff, and then you can't see for the rest of your life. That's basically why you can need your super cool solar eclipse glasses. You know, I'm not putting them on correctly because we're inside and there's no solar eclipse happening right now. It's like dark outside because it's nighttime. But you don't want to do what these fucking people did with their with their solar eclipse glasses. Do not put a paper plate and call it a day. Buy some of these from Amazon or something. And if you don't have one, some by uh, these times tomorrow. I'm gonna put the link into the times in the description. But still, if you don't if you don't have one by those times, you're I'm I'm sorry, Timmy, but you're f to put it simply. Okay, so now we're gonna transition to the backyard a few hours earlier from this, from this recording so i can show you guys what this thing here is i bought this from amazon this is supposed to basically be a solar eclipse glass for your phone i need to go clean it but there's fingerprints on it so i gotta go clean it but here is basically what you got here you got the solar eclipse lens if you if i shine a light at it like here you can see the thing this is how in normal eclipse glasses work as well so if i did the same thing with these glasses it would go here and it would see same factor. awesome so let's can transition to the backyard and see how they fare against the actual sun <laughs> So welcome to my backyard. Today is the day before the solar eclipse, which, as you didn't know, happens every 300 years. So, I have the glasses right here and this cool, funny lens I got from Amazon. We're gonna go test if it actually works. Now, if it actually works, then yeah, my phone won't blow up. And I will post. I will, we're gonna go look up if it actually does blow up and if this was a waste of money. So, we got the sun right over there. It's very bright. We're being blinded by the light. No one's gonna be screaming ooh, though. So, let's put the solar eclipse glasses on and let's go see. Okay, so we have the thingy on. Oh, there's a light over there or something. I can see it better with the eclipse glasses, though. Also might be because it's like very dark. Oh, but you can see the sun right over. Th oh. You can see the sun over there. Oh God, I can't zoom in, but you can see the sun kind of over there in the distance. Reason why we couldn't see it really well is because the flashlight was on my phone. I never realized it. But once I get it in a decent setting, I'll just leave it. But the close glasses on, and hopefully I get blinded. Pretty awesome. There's the actual sun. Awesome. So yeah. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, that's much, much better. You can see a lot better. 
this is gonna be around the like quality that you get especially when you have like a phone or at least a camera with very high quality nice thing that I have bought here this is a this is something from Vizi solar this is a camera lens, oh shit, camera lens filter that you can actually put on your phone like I did earlier in the video you can still order some now on Amazon for like eight dollars and 99 cents it's a complete listing you can even let's look at what honey has to say compare prices at two stores all right all right all right let's see let's see let's see you can get out a Walmart for like eight dollars or Amazon for like nine dollars. There's more. That's pretty much it. That's just Amazon and Walmart who are selling these lenses. And from my personal experience, as you just witnessed as well, it worked pretty well for you know being an Amazon listing, which is you know not saying much, but it still it works. That's what I care about if it works or not. So nice to know that my camera lens will be safe and ready to go and if you guys want to pick one up you guys might want to do that as soon as possible okay so this is um a reasoning to why you need this lens in the first place for your phone so if, even if you were taking a video or like a photo with your phone with this normal lens the thing around like the ring little ring around the on the eclipse you know where the sunlight pokes through a little bit that is where your lens can get screwed up because there's a lot of like radiation trying to get through and there's like a lot of radiation in there or more since the more of it's going through and more of it's aimed at your camera it is going to make it get destroyed and the same thing that could happen to your retinas will happen to the camera where it will cease to exist and it will blow up well, okay, well people say to blow it, it will blow up to be exaggerated, but it won't actually blow up. Just look at what uh, the funny little um, uh, Aubrey GX, not sponsored, AI told me. <laughs> Last thing we're going to be talking about today is about the weather. Now, for the people who are watching were in the, little, in the area that I am, we, it is saying that it is going to be cloudy. I'll put a picture of like the news, whatever, or, like the weather forecast right here. It's supposed to be cloudy, but here's the thing. During an eclipse, clouds tend to go poof, even just, just go bye-bye for a little bit, even. Here's the, here's the why. You see, since you know how the moon controls like the tides and waves or whatever, however it works, you see, According to this, or according to this article, I'll have put this in the description. You see, so basically, so basically, this also affects the uh, affects temperature, the climate even. So, the fewer clouds obviously would uh, would like expose the sun a little more. But the sun is being being covered by the moon, meaning that it wouldn't be that much of like much sunlight going through to heat up the earth. Effectively, basically pausing climate change and slightly reversing it but hey this is not a climate change video this is an eclipse video we don't care about that right now it also says that the clouds moving away would also reflect the sunlight coming from the corona which that's what it's called the if you guys didn't know that's the like little shinies that come off an eclipse those are called those are called corona however this really is kind of just like a theory it's not like not even just like my theory it's like the scientific theory on how clouds actually would work with an eclipse since there's not exactly a lot of you know full-blown like darkness all over the place eclipses which actually that is what's gonna happen they they confirmed it was like yeah that's gonna happen you're not gonna be able to say shit you're not gonna be able to see anything you're not gonna be able to see your girlfriend you're not gonna be able to see your dog you're not gonna be able to see your pig yeah not even your funny, goofy friend Enzo that you like bullying. You're not gonna be able to say. You're not gonna be able to see him. No, no. But here's the thing. Because the cloud layers are really complex and stuff, and you know clouds are always moving. They could also. It, it could. It's not really. 
y you know, it's not really, that's gonna, it's not gonna really, whatchamacallit. The point is that the clouds are gonna move out of the way so you guys can see everything. So everyone's gonna be able to see everything. If you don't believe me, um, here's also, here's also a, a graph thing that tells everything, every, everything, everybody, everything, along with all the phases of the eclipse. So as you can see, that over here according to this, which actually is better to understand than what the hell I was saying, is right here, you can see that the clouds go and shrink a little. As it's eclipsing, it shrinks, and then as it's uneclipsing, it, I don't know what the term for, un like when I, the sun, like the moon and sun split up, so I'm just gonna call it uneclipsing. And the clouds go and become big. And uh, right here, it also says it says heat flux. So either it's gonna get hotter, or it's gonna get colder. I think I'm gonna go colder since we're not gonna get a lot of sunlight. That's my theory on it, though. So don't take my word for it. And uh, right here, it also looks like it might cause some wind. That is what it looks like according to these updrafts. And updraft normally means that wind. So. Yeah, so exactly why this happened is, I don't know, I guess God was just like, when they were creating the world, was like, All right, so, when we make these clouds, we're going to make it seem very hard to see the So clouds are going to go bye-bye. And if that's the case, thank you so that we can see this. Really appreciate it. Okay, so when the ground, when the ground so it is going to, so it's not going to get hotter. So it's, the ground's going to get colder and the updrafts are going to, wait a minute. So, okay, so um, I'm gonna put this like excerpt from the, from the article I'm reading off of and getting the stuff, some of the stuff from. And uh, you guys interpret that however you will because I actually have zero clue how to interpret that. Well, I have some clue. I'm not that clueless. I'm not stupid. But I don't know how to interpret that exactly. So, however you guys see fit, I will, will go with that. There's going to be a lot of research going to be made on this one since this is an actual full eclipse. And this like these types of full eclipses happen every 300 years. So, if you guys are planning on skipping it out, don't. And if you do, you're a buffoon. But yeah, that's about it. So yeah, that's basically everything we have to theorize about, about the solar eclipse. You see, we gone through your eyes blowing up, your phone blowing up, your balls blowing up. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding about the last one. But then it does also the clouds going and moving away so that everybody can see. Make sure you guys have your solar eclipse glasses, and if you already if you have them already, your solar lenses. If you're planning on taking pictures and or filming, because remember, if you film it or take a picture of it, your camera will be fucked. Per, 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 per lightly, I'm not gonna censor that one. I'm just gonna leave that then there, because it's true. Your, your camera's done. It's over. It's over even. So anyway, thanks for watching or listening, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys. Guys, remember, that's just a theory. A speedy fight theory. Thanks for watching or listening.